All right, what up you guys? Gabe here. This video is gonna be on how to get a job at a golf course. Currently I'm in the cart barn at one of the golf courses I work at, Woods Valley. I actually work in the pro shop, but this is where I worked at when I first started working at golf courses as outside service. Now, obviously there isn't much to getting a job at a golf course and you know, I don't know how much advice I can really share with you, but I'm just gonna show you my experiences and some of my tips for you on how to get a job at a golf course and also the pros and cons of working at a golf course. So let's get started. So for me, I've worked at three different golf courses, um, two country clubs and one regular golf course where I'm at now, it's a regular championship 18 hole golf course. My first job was a kind of a middle class country club not really rich, but not really poor. It's kind of right in between. You know, worked outside service, picking balls, uh, you know, that cleaning carts, the usual. And then my second job I got here um, at Woods Valley, working in the pro shop. Been here for over a year now. And then I just left another job where I worked at another country club here in San Diego that was a very wealthy country club. Uh, you know, millionaires, uh, multimillionaires, professional athletes, doctors. A very high-end country club. Things were run very meticulously there. All right, so I'm gonna share with you how I got my jobs at the golf course. The first way I got my first job was as I knew friends who worked at the golf course. And I had them put a good, in, good word in for me to their managers. So that when there was a spot available, I had favor with them on getting the job. So if you know anybody that works at a golf course, that'll be huge for you getting a job. So when that spot's available, your buddy can say, hey, I know this kid, great worker, hard worker, loves golf, he'd be great for the job. So that when that job becomes available, you'll have favor and you'll most likely get it. Now the second way I got my second job here at Woods Valley was I actually wasn't even looking for a job. I didn't apply anywhere, didn't even apply to here. But one of the managers over here asked me if I wanted to start working a couple days in the shop and I believe the reason he asked me was, well, once, one, I was hanging around here a lot, a lot of the time. I was practicing, playing. I was always dressed nicely. I always acted politely, courteous. You know, I knew golf etiquette. I was a people's person. I would come in the pro shop, talk to the employees, talk to people, you know, just was real friendly. And I just think he saw that. And so he said, hey, you know what? We need, we need, there's a job available. This kid, he acts right. He dresses nice. Let me offer it to him. So if you, you know, just do the right things at the golf courses and just, you know, act properly, you know, a job might come your way. And so like I said, the third, the, how I got my job at Santa Luz, my uh, third job over at the country club in San Diego I was telling you about, was once again, I knew people and they put in good words for me. And I had to apply there multiple times. And I would say that to you guys, you have to apply at multiple golf courses. They're not always hiring and you gotta give yourself as many opportunities to get hired as possible. I, I might have went and applied at four different golf courses before I got hired at one. So you gotta apply at a lot of golf courses and stay diligent. Now when you go into a golf course to apply, these are some of the suggestions I would give you. I work in the pro shop at one now. I see a lot of people coming in for applications and most of the time it's high school kids and they're dressed in regular clothes and maybe they haven't played golf, maybe they have. You would never know why the by the way they dress. So I would say if you're gonna go in and grab an application, dress nice, dress appropriately in golf attire. That way you seem a little more professional, you seem a little more serious about the job. Then what I would do is I would always try to seek someone out in management, someone in authority, maybe if you could talk to somebody who does the hiring at the golf course. That way if you can introduce yourself, you're taking a step beyond everybody else who just comes in and fills out an application. Talk to the manager, say, you know what, hey, I know there's not a job available now, or if there is, there isn't, but I just wanna let you know I'm a hard worker, I love golf, I love being around the golf atmosphere, you know, I wanna work my way up in the golf field and get some experience. And say, you know, if there's any jobs ever available, I would love to work here. So just simple stuff like that. Take the time to stand out, be known. Otherwise, the manager is just looking at applications without a face, without a personality. And if you go the step of introducing yourself, acting professional, letting know, letting him know that you would love to have the job, that when that chances are when that job's available, he's going to call you out of every other application he has. Okay, so I'm going to talk about some of the pros of working at a golf course. Uh, I would say the best pro is playing privileges, playing and practicing privileges. 
Usually if you work at a golf course, there'll be some sort of deal where you can play and practice for free. Uh, you know, certain country clubs, it, it's a little more, it's a little more strict on how many days you can play or practice and what times. Um, Woods Valley, I can basically play or practice here whenever I want, which is awesome. You know, as long as it's not really busy and I'm not getting the way of paying customers, they'll let me go out anytime and practice anytime. So that's one of the awesome benefits of working on a golf course that you might be able to put more time into your golf game. Also, some of the pros is, you know, you're going to learn people skills, you're going to learn to serve, you know, I think it's definitely good to start the bottom up and humble yourself and, and just learn what a cart guy does, learn what outside service does. That way you can always say, you know, I started from the bottom up and moved, moved up through the golf uh, industry. Uh, you're also going to learn to work with teams. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. You guys aren't going to be doing a whole lot, but you're going to learn to interact uh, individually with your other employees. And at certain golf courses, it's going to be more crucial than others, depending on how busy it gets or how much you guys have to do. But you are going to learn to work with other people. Now, the cons, I would say the first con, which may be the worst, is the pay. You're going to get paid minimum wage working outside service at most golf courses. If it's a nicer country club, you got, might get paid a little more. But the pay at golf courses isn't very good. I would always suggest you look for a golf course that tips maybe a resort or a country club that's a tipping facility or you can clean clubs at your local golf course that way you're definitely going to make some more money the other con is that it's manual labor um, certain times you're going to have to do a lot of manual labor a lot of hard work whether it be picking balls um, you know picking them up moving stuff bending over getting bags um, you know I working at the country club in San Diego I might put away 150 bags on shelves you know, and a day's worth of work, and then the day you're sore, you're tired, you've been walking for six hours. So, at certain golf courses, certain days, you're gonna have to do a lot of work, and it can be pretty hard, pretty tiring. So, when filling out an application, um, it's pretty standard, not much uh, wisdom I can share with you other than just put what they want to hear, literally. You know, put you love the golfing atmosphere, you're a golfer yourself, you know etiquette, you're a hard worker. Just tell them everything you want here. Working outside a golf course, isn't very hard anybody can do it so it's just making you sound eager and that you want to have the job is the main thing and sometimes when you're on the job you can just sit and laze around get paid on a beautiful day and just watch the golfers come in we'll do a quick little tutorial on how to clean a cart and some other stuff real quick <laughs> Okay, so here's my overview. If you have friends that work in a golf course, have them put a good word in for you. Dress nice, talk to someone in management, and stand out. Apply out of a lot of different golf courses and stay diligent, making follow-up calls, asking if there's any jobs available, you know, every, every week or two. You're gonna learn to serve, you're gonna learn to work, you're gonna be humbled by working at the bottom. You're gonna get playing privileges, but also you're not gonna get paid a lot. It's manual labor, some hard work, Stand out, have fun, do it out. <laughs> and my last piece of advice is to NOT get comfortable, to not get comfortable at a golf course. It's very easy to do. I've done it at three courses myself. And what I mean by is to not get comfortable is to always be looking for something better, always looking. Always be looking for a better course to work at, to get better playing privileges, to get a better job, to get paid better, whether it be working as a caddy or whatever. Always be looking for something better. Because it's very hard to move up when you're working outside service. Anybody can do this job and you don't want to get stuck here. I've known people who've worked at outside cleaning carts for five or six years. They haven't got a raise in four years. It's just pointless and you need to get out of this thing because you don't want to do this for the rest of your life. You're just using this for playing privileges, for a little experience, but don't get comfortable and always be looking for something better. All right, here's one of our uh, main managers outside. We're here with Colton Campbell, okay? Oh. He runs the car barn outside manager. That's what he is. Colton, how do you like working at Woods Valley Golf Club? You know, I don't like the uh, hard work that I have to do out here, but uh, I mean, free golf is great. I mean, I get to meet a lot of nice people out here, have fun, 
interacting with the customers and just trying to be just great customer service out here. Mm. You know, I really like I like sliding the carts around too. Though. He really likes sliding the carts around. Yeah, that's one of his favorite pastimes. Now, Chris. How do you like working here at Woods Valley Golf Club? Do you currently work at another golf course as well, or did you? No, I actually just left my job because of car problems, but I like it here better because they have better management and they interact with the customers better, treat them like it like it's their home. So you're saying, uh, you know, management at the golf course you work at definitely has to do with you staying there or not? Oh yeah, it definitely does. Uh, communication, trust, um, just basically working as a team. Yeah, you guys, and I can see that from personal experience as well, working at golf courses. Sometimes you can get managers that are just straight dicks, um, that aren't encouraging, aren't really trying to here to help you, but are just here to be like, yo, dude, you're stupid, you need to do it this way, or just, you know, real short with you. And that can make things really hard working at a golf course. It's not very fun. So luckily working here at Woods Valley, San Luis, uh, Bernardo Heights, I've had pretty good luck with those people, haven't had any problems. But you can work at some golf courses with some pretty... Uh, not the most professional managers. Colin just drives around basically all day. He loves driving the carts. Colin's on his 15th circle right now. He just doesn't stop driving. A lot of screwing around in the cart bar and off time. And three, here we are with Colton Campbell, Chris Stipa. They're going to show you how to properly detail and clean a golf course as they would do on their regular basis through the day. First thing they're going to do is take out the trash. We do recycle here. Looks like Colton's already getting after the uh, sand bottles. This is called teamwork. Two on one. Gets the job done really quick. Okay, boom, boom. Trash is done. Sand's done. Now we're going to hose it down, get all the debris, get all the grass, get all the dirt off the floorboards. Colin's already getting a scorecard over there. Now we don't have a power washer here like we did in my golf course, the regular hose. Might take a little bit longer, but these guys still get it done. Getting underneath the wheel wells. Get into the uh, club and ball washer right there. Really soak that bad boy down. Get all that dirt out of there. <laughs> yeah. Now Colton's done. Look, they got scorecard. They did sand. They washed it. Now all they're going to do is give this thing a quick little dry. Get all the spots off. And this thing's going to be ready to park. Teamwork. This probably approximately took like, we're about 117 minute in the video. This is called efficiency, boys. This is how guys really work outside. Let's park this bad boy and get her done. Nice, clean, and sparkly. Woo! <laughs> Minute 30 second flat.